And news reporter Steve Adamson shows us how bullying has changed over the years and how one organization is hoping to stop it. Bullying at school drove this Massachusetts teenager, 15-year-old Phoebe Prince, to hang herself earlier this year. National attention to the case came about earlier this month when six students were charged with felonies accused of bullying her to death. The statistics from one website show that one out of four kids is bullied in school, while half of all bullying incidents go unreported. Closer to home, it also shows the top states where bullying is the worst. California ranked number one. In San Luis Obispo, the Big Brothers Big Sisters organization has a mentoring program to help younger students handle bullying early on. During our after-school mentoring program where high schoolers come to the elementary school campus to mentor children for one hour a week, we're finding that a lot of the kids there are really learning about peaceful conflict resolution and how to stand up to themselves for bullies. Case studies of the shooting at Columbine High School and other schools have suggested that bullying was a factor in many of the incidents. Big Brothers Big Sisters hopes it's able to help students learn to handle bullying before it leads to something tragic. It really is helping um, to help curb bullying with the youth that we're particularly working with. Um, and that's thanks to the wonderful mentors who are there to give them that one-on-one -on -one attention. Each day it's estimated 160,000 students miss school for fear of being bullied. We're live in the studio. Now back to you, Jeanette. All right. Thank you, Steve. There are Big Brothers Big Sisters programs in San Luis Obispo and Santa Barbara counties. To find out how you can get